So hello everybody. Um, today the video lecture is going to be about steps for conversion problems. Now, your textbooks might have some fancy terms like dimensional analysis or factor labeling, but I like to keep things simple. We're just going to call them story problems or conversion problems. And first what I want to do is look at these two examples that I wrote on the board. Um, first, number one, if Mr. Benson drives 35.75 miles to work, how many feet did he drive? Now, we won't need any set formula to solve for this. What we have to do is we're going to have to convert something, my miles that I drove, into feet. And there's going to be all kinds of conversion problems that we do this year. And the goal today is just to show you the basic steps do these two problems um, together, and then when we get back in class, I can answer any questions and do some more explaining for you. So let's start with step number one. Step number one for doing your conversion problems, write down what I call the given. And it briefly means, what does the problem give to you? Now I'm gonna give you a moment, write this down, press pause. Step two, write down the final units that you want to convert to. That'll be the second step. Press pause, write this down. Step three, and I'll help you with this in class, you're going to write down all the needed conversion factors. And we'll go through conversion factors. There's just um, a billion that we could do, all right? But that is step three, write down all needed conversion factors. And finally, step four, you're solving your problem. And to me, it's just a big game that you have to solve. And, and I'll, I'll explain it. The key idea is, is you got to cancel out units. If you have a unit on top, the way you cancel it out is you put it on the bottom, you divide. Okay. So on top, you put something on the bottom to divide, and those things cancel each other out. That's all part of the game, and it's going to end up, our final unit needs to end up on the top. So let's do this here. If Mr. Benson drives 35.75 miles to work, how many feet did he drive? Step one, write down the given. What does the problem give you? So I read this, and it gives me something 35.75 miles. Do me a favor, write that on the left side. Now here's the thing, what we're going to do to make this a game piece, go ahead, put that right over one. You don't need to have this, but it makes people feel more comfortable if they see something over one. It makes more sense when they're multiplying and dividing these things. So now step two is write down the final units you want to convert to. You find that in your question. So if I drive 35.75 miles, how many feet? I got to convert that to feet. And what I want you to do is write that on the right hand side. So give yourself some space here. Have an equal sign, leave a blank, and then we're going to write down feet. And the final answer is going to go in this blank here. Step three, write down all your needed conversions. Now, you may not know this off the top of your head, and if you have a problem with a conversion, um, I might help you. I'll tell you ahead of time which type of conversions you need to know. But one mile equals 5,280 feet. So what I do is I write it either to the side or underneath. And this right 
here, that's my game piece that I use to play my game to get from miles to feet. Okay? This conversion factor is the important piece in our game. So finally, last step, play the game to solve for our final answer. So the key idea is we got to cancel out the units top and bottom, and the final unit needs to end up on top. So I have miles, I have feet, and I have both of those in my conversion unit. So what I do is, is I'm going to draw a multiplication sign in a line. And one of these numbers, these values with the units, going to go on top, and one of them is going to go on the bottom. And the key thing is we got to cancel out miles and end up with feet on top. So put the one mile, this part, right on the bottom. Put the other side, whichever side you don't use, that has to go on top, 5,280 feet. When you do this, what you're doing, you're multiplying these two things together. The miles are on the top, the numerator, and on the denominator, they cancel out. And so notice what I'm left with, the only unit is feet. Double check, is that what you want your final answer to be? Yay, you did it correct. If you end up with your final unit on the top, then you know you did it correct. And what you do now to solve, it's as simple as any things that are on the top get multiplied together. If I have a number on the bottom, they get divided by what's ever on top. Notice our numbers on the bottom though are just one, so they're not going to affect our answer at all. You multiply 35.75 times 5,280, and you end up with an answer of 1,000, I'm sorry, let's make this 188,760 feet. And when we get in class, we're going to talk about how many significant figures this answer needs to be. And I'll give someone an extra credit point if they can tell me, and I'm going to give you a hint. The number of sig figs always has to be the same as the number that you're given. Okay. Don't ever look at conversion factors for sig figs, because I can make those as many significant figures as I want, or as few as I want. So those can change. Always look at your given. So if someone can come in tomorrow and give me this answer with the proper significant figures. Yay, extra credit for you. And that's everybody that can do that, not just one person. So now, before I go, let's just quickly do through this problem number two. There's just a little bit more, and I'm going to want to work through it quickly. First step is find your given. The only thing it gives us here is the 1.25 kilometers. So given gets written on the left. And go ahead, put that right over one. That's our game piece to start. And then what I want to do is step two, what final units do I want to end? It's going to ask us that right in the question itself, how many centimeters? So way over here on the right, blank centimeters. Now, what conversion factors do I need? I might not know how many centimeters are in a kilometer, but we do need to know that there are 1,000 meters in a kilometer. So we can say 1 kilometer equals 1,000 meters. That's one of our conversion factors that I need. The thing is, I don't have centimeters in either one of these two numbers. I need one that has centimeters. I know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. So I'm going to need two conversion factors. And all it means is I'm going to have two little game pieces added on here. So let's play our game, do a multiplication sign, make our line, 
I got to get rid of kilometers. So take a look at your conversion units there. Which one of those conversion factors has kilometers in it? It's this one. So one of these numbers goes on top, what goes on bottom. Put the one kilometer on bottom, the key is the kilometers got to be opposite to cancel out. Put the other side on the top, 1,000 meters. Now what I do after I use a conversion factor in one of these problems, I cross it out. Because I don't want to, you don't ever use it twice. So I cross it out so I don't even look at it. And I say, okay, kilometers have canceled out. I'm now at a point where I have meters as my answer. But I don't want meters as my answer. I want centimeters. So I have one more conversion factor here. It has both centimeters and meters. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself. So make another game piece right there. The units have to cancel out whatever is on top, so put the one meter on the bottom, and that's to cancel out meters, and put the other side of that conversion on the top. 100 centimeters goes on top. So now to solve this, anything on top gets multiplied together, so 1.25 times 1,000 times 100, and then if there's numbers on the bottom, we've got to divide. Those numbers are all 1, so who cares about that? We just multiply the top together. And when you do that, you come up with the answer 1.25 times 10 to the 5th centimeters. Have a great night.